Good morning, good morning. Welcome to a what I eat in a day. I think this is like my first actual what I eat in a day. And if you've been following my journey, you know that I primarily eat animal based. So you're gonna get a little look, see into what that typical day looks like for me. Right now it's about 10 a.m. and I am gonna have a coffee. I go through phases of coffee. I don't like stressing about it. Um, coffee obviously is not technically animal based, but it does feel good for me in the morning. And I do include collagen and butter usually if I am doing it because I don't do well with just plain black coffee. It's a little bit acidic on my stomach. And I do fast, so I like doing intermittent fasting usually on the daily two meals a day so I'll be featuring two meals a day with like a little snack and then my coffee as well which I really feel like it's a great pre-workout because I am about to go to the gym and my coffee technically is breaking a fast because it has more than just black coffee so typically as far as fasting goes I like to wait at least a full 12 hours since my last meal before I do the coffee and then I'm still food fasting until a few hours later so it's 10 a.m. I actually finished up eating yesterday at 7 a.m. So it's been more than 12 hours and I am now having my coffee. I'm going to take you through the Bulletproof Collagen Coffee process. So I usually switch up my coffee in the morning. I love doing French press. Right now at my mom's house, I do have an espresso. So while the Nespresso is getting done, I usually use a blender. My favorite is actually a Nutribullet, but we only got a Vitamix here, which is great too. So, but the Nutribullet, it comes out like super, super frothy, which I love, but I'm gonna show you what I do while the Nespresso is getting done. One scoop of collagen, and then we just got a little bit of butter. We got a scoop of collagen, a little bit of butter. This changes based on how hungry I am, how much I ate the day before, how much I will be eating, how hard I'm gonna work out. And so this is really just up to you and your measurement. So my version of eating animal-based or carnivore is eating nose to tail, which means you're eating all parts of the animals. You're eating the organ meats, you're eating either the skin or part of the bone in like a bone broth. And so that's why I'm doing the collagen. Collagen has so many benefits for good joint health, for skin, and has like the natural, all of the, all of the things you need to prepare and just regenerate your entire body, your muscles, your skin, all of that good stuff. So I usually do the collagen in my coffee or I like to do bone broth. So I either make my own bone broth or I use this kettle and fire bone broth and I do have a 20% off discount code it does support me and this channel and everything I do but it's also super bomb they have beef bone broth and also chicken bone broth today I will be doing the collagen and it's super frothy it's super amazing so let's get it started alrighty it's all foamy I love it and we're just gonna pour it all in here. and then usually I just kind of keep the foam in there <laughs> especially if i'm going to the gym i just do a sprinkle of redmond real salt too for electrolytes and i feel super good <laughs> I forgot to include that this is also a what I eat in a day for my doggo. And oh, he already knows. He already knows that it's eating time. I'm not eating yet, but we both do eat pretty much ground beef for most of our meals. So these are just ground beef patties. I usually give him about five or maybe even more if he's exercised a lot or sometimes four, just depending on his activity level and how hungry he is. And I also do a lot of training with him. So I break this up into pieces and then he follows commands and it's amazing brain training and motivation for him. And I've seen wonders with it. Sit. Good boy. Down. Boy. Up. Come here. Come on. Sit. Down. Oh, good boy. Okay, we're all set to go to the GM Jam, and I'm gonna enjoy this little cup on the way, and we're gonna listen to a good podcast to set the mood. It's gonna be a great day. 
I have currently been listening to a lot of podcasts on human design. It's been something I've been getting into. I'm a generator. There's a lot of us out there. So if you are a generator, let me know the keys to life. But so far, I've been thoroughly enjoying everything as far as human design because it's really a permission slip to like how I am living life. If you're not familiar with human design, not going to get into it, but do look it up because you can figure out your human design based on your astrological chart. So you just need to look it up human design chart and then plug in your time, birthplace, all that good stuff, and then go down the rabbit hole. Back from the gym, it was like a quick, efficient lower body workout. I am doing the Natasha Ocean build program. I bought all of her programs during her Black Friday sale and I'm finally in a place where I'm back with some consistency and stability in my life because I'd been traveling pretty much all of 2021, retreating different places, hosting, all of the things. So back in the business, have access to the gym, mandates from a little calmer right now and it feels really good so I followed through with that workout and I feel really good I'm sweaty I have a call very soon but in the meantime I am gonna whip something up really quickly take a really quick ice cold shower for the muscles and then we go about our day I am done with my cold shower and it's actually quite chilly here in California so I'm all cozy and warm and I'm ready for my first meal. This meal is probably my go-to meal and it's gonna be bison and pretty much it's gonna be ground up bison. It's an ancestral blend so it does have organ meats and I was talking about eating nose to tail and if I'm not doing bison then I'm pretty much just doing grass-fed beef or I'm making like meatballs with organ meats. So this this one is super simple and it's from a regenerative company that I really love called Force of Nature, so I'm gonna show you. This is the packaging, ground bison, ancestral blend, and it's got the bison liver and heart as well. 23 grams of protein, it's a lot leaner than beef, so um, I'm probably gonna do like half the package. That's gonna be a good amount. And then I also cook with ghee. So that makes it a little bit more fattier, a little bit more filling. And then I like to add honey as well and salt. And that's pretty much the only things that I'm adding to this. And it is phenomenal. While the ghee is melting on the stove and while I put the bison on, I am super hungry. I did lift quite a bunch and do some high intensity exercises today in the gym, which is lower body, which takes up a lot of energy. So I'm going to start off my breaking a food fast with an orange. I got this orange from the farmer's market in Little Italy, so it is local, it is organic, and oh my gosh, I had one of these the other day. So much flavor because it's winter, oranges are in season, and then even better because I know the farmer who whose farm it's from. This is so juicy, literally squirted all over me while I was peeling it, but Mm. You can just tell. I'm finishing this off. Perfect little snack. Body is absorbing all the nutrients because fruit, first thing, amazing. And then this is going really well. It's perfect. Now I'm gonna add the salt. I never add salt really while cooking because I feel like it takes away from maximal nutrients. And then I'm also gonna drizzle some honey. If you haven't done honey just on ground beef or bison, you are missing out, my friends. I usually try to go for like raw honey. This is just from Trader Joe's. Pretty great quality of honey, but I also would love to start getting more honey from the farmer's market, but here we go. Finished product. I'm gonna stir this all up so you know the salt and the honey blends in and everything. I don't measure anything, so I just put a good amount of honey on there, a little bit of salt, good amount of salt for my electrolytes to replenish and because it tastes good, I don't season or spice it up with anything else. And then again, this is about like half a pound of the ancestral blend of bison. I am gonna take just a few breaths to take it all in. 
getting the aromas and just give gratitude to the cycle of life. It's so freaking important. And as someone who used to be vegan for a few years, this is just like all the more appreciation to have a feast like this and to be able to get so much nutrients, like vital force energy from this incredible bison that was roaming the land, regenerating the soil. Wow. So I'm gonna take a few seconds and then enjoy this without my phone. Just got done with that half pound of bison. It honestly didn't fully fill me up and because I only do two meals a day, I like to feast feast, but I don't like to cook everything at the same time because I do like to eat a little bit and then see how I feel and then make the next thing very freshly and consume it. I don't count calories. It doesn't do well for my mental health. I've tried on and off many times, but I do count grams of protein just to make sure I'm in the ballpark of approximately around my body weight so around 120 grams of protein give or take some days it's way lower than that like about 80 grams and then some days if I'm eating a huge steak then it's way more um, the one craving that is very clearly signaled through my body is my craving for fat so I do definitely prioritize adding in fats whether it's naturally through beef or naturally through salmon or eggs or cheese or I'm adding in ghee or like butter in my coffee so I'm definitely fat fuel throughout the entire time not strictly keto I did eat an orange I do like to put a lot of honey on things but definitely an emphasis on proteins and fat as fuel for me it feels really good this is just a grass-fed patty from Costco actually so there's balance because I get a lot as much as I can from the farmers market and regenerative farm but this is a really great go-to budget friendly source from Costco and then what I'm going to do here is just raise it out and then it's going to be some ground beef. Okay, so we got the ground beef. Same deal. I'm going to sprinkle a little salt and honey on this. Super simple. Nothing crazy and fancy. This is literally my go-to meal and I feel so good from this. Just a round estimate, I'm gonna guess, including this beef right now and the bison I had earlier, around 60 to 65 grams of protein, and then a little bit from the collagen as well, so that's gonna be about like five to six grams of protein because I did half a serving. So we're around 70, 75 grams of protein so far today. So it's about 4.15 p.m. right now. Dukas and I are getting in a longer walk, about two miles in right now. Want to get in some sunlight for the day before the sun sets. The sun does set pretty early, closer to like 5.15 these days because it is still winter in California. And so it just feels really nice. I'm probably going to do a little snack after this. And then dinner time will be approaching, which I'm super excited about. Back from the walk, got the last little spritz of vitamin D and my body feels good. I feel completely digested from lunch. Still like very, very satiated, but I could use a little snack, a little bit of some sweetness and also some richness. And I'm really excited about this. When I was at the farmer's market in San Diego, I got this sacred honeycomb. It is from a farm in Temecula and it's like the legit actual honeycomb. So I'm just using like a little spoon of this. This is Parmesan Reggiano. So like raw cheese, which is amazing. So just a few nibbles of this with the honey is literally the best combination ever. I don't measure anything, but just a few nibbles of the cheese and then that beautiful honeycomb of abundance. This is just like amazing for my mind and my body and my soul. So tons of nutrients here, but also kind of like a really nice dessert. This is like my dessert goals. Just here casually hanging out on the kitchen floor, but honestly, you gotta get your deep squats in, you know, if you haven't done that already. And the Dukas is being the cutest little Dukas ever. Um, so yeah, it's 6.45 p.m., almost seven. Gonna do the last final meal of the day, so just two meals a day. Super simple, because when you're animal-based, primal, everything's just super simple. We're just doing eggs, just eggs. If I'm hungry, I'll have something else, but I feel like I'm gonna be pretty satisfied with the eggs and just a little bit of melted cheese on top for a little pizzazz. I'm doing pasture eggs from Trader Joe's. Trader Joe's my go-to and these eggs are great. Love them. And I always do sunny side up because as raw as you can keep the yolk, the better, the more nutrients and just delicious like this. 
I melt the cheese last after it's like pretty much ready to go because it melts pretty quickly. I got the cheese topped on because the eggs are pretty much ready to go. I just place a cover on this literally just for a few seconds and then the cheese, like it's all ready, it's super melty. And then just salt. Let me know if you're like this. I just like eating everything in a bowl with a spoon. Like, I like eating my beef like that. I just, anything I can eat like this or with my hands is kind of the way to go. So yes, eggs, cheese, last meal of the day. I ended up making just two more eggs with a little bit of more melted cheese on top to top up the night, but this will be having me completely satiated and good so that's about what i eat in a day that will bring me to about 120 grams of protein give or take if someone wants to do the full-on calculation let me know but like i said i don't track i don't do any of that just like more intuitively two meals a day a little bit of fasting a little bit of just like living and loving and you know trying to live like my ancestors but also integrate with our entire society so if you enjoyed that, please give me a thumbs up and ask me any questions. Um, if you would like to see another what I eat in the day, let me know because I do have a lot of variation, but still super, super simple meals. There's sometimes where I do seafood, salmon, um, more beef or more bison or an actual steak versus ground beef. So all of those amazing variations. But this lifestyle has seriously been so healing. Thank you so much for tuning in.